Hey guys, it's David from mdbootstrap.com and in this video I'm gonna show you how to use MDB5 plugins like Calendar, Drag and Drop, Cookies Management and all others you can see in the list down below. So without further ado, let's get started. So first I'm gonna show you how to add plugins to your project and I'm going to show you two options. One is to download our zip file from your profile page and the other one is going to be how to install it via NPM. So let's start with the first option. Navigate to mdbootstrap.com. In the menu on the right side, navigate to orders and you should see your available downloads. Click download next to advanced annual. This will start downloading a file for you. Once you download a zip file, unzip it into location of your choice. Open it with a text editor. Let's check index.html file. Let's open a open live server to see the preview. So this is our starting project. And if we check our code, you're gonna see that plugins are already linked in our project. Now let's have a look at the file structure. If you navigate to plugins, you're gonna see two directories, CSS and JS, and where you're gonna find all, so all CSS and all JS, so the file which contains all the plugins and single files for each plugin. So if you don't want to use all of them, just particular, plugins then you can import just a single files like calendar css and calendar js for all plugins you want to use in your project now second option to install your plugins is to use npm once you get mdb5 advanced you should receive a bunch of emails informing you that access to all the plugins has been granted to you so if you check for example calendar you're gonna see link to the Git repository. Now log into GitHub repository using credential you use for mdbootstrap.com page and you're gonna be redirect to the plugin repository. Now what we have to do is to generate our token. So go to settings, navigate to access tokens and create new one. I'm gonna call it mdb5 plugins and choose read repository option and then click create personal access token this will generate personal token for you make sure to save it because it will gonna be shown only once after that you're gonna need to recreate a new token so let's make copy of it now let's check mdb pro plugin installation page where you're gonna find all the instruction on how to install mdb plugins and let's go to npm so what we have to do we have to use this command but we're going to replace access token placeholder with our access token so let's create a new directory i'm going to call it mdb5 npm let's open command line here I'm going to use git bash. Now let's prepare our commands. So first we're going to install MDB UI kit. So I'm going to copy this command, paste it, and I'm going to replace this access token with mine token. And then use command. This will download MDB UI kit. And now let's do the same with plugin. We're gonna use calendar. So then again, let's replace token placeholder with my token and let's run command. Now 
Now both MDB and calendar plugin are installed under node modules and in order to start using them we have to import them as a JS modules. You can also significantly speed up the process of creating new projects based on our webpack using this starter. Now let's have a look at our plugins. I'm going to get back to our project. So this is our starter from a zip file. And let's have a look at first plugin, which is calendar. As you can see, this is the calendar which you may know from Google Calendar. So let's use it. I'm going to copy HTML first. I'm going to replace the content of this entire div with calendar. And let's add JavaScript. As you can see in the JavaScript, we have we are defining events. And then we are initializing our calendar and adding new events into calendar. So let's do that now. I'm going to paste JavaScript over here and let's check result. So this is our calendar. And as you can see, it's working out of the box. We can add new events, daily events, hourly events, and we can even mark multiple days, check, change the list view and so on. Now all our plugins have a lot of customization options. So we can change the first day of week, default view, 12 or 24 hours display, different captions, default day, which you see by, while opening calendar, you can define which events or dates are read only and many, many more options, which you're going to also find in our API tabs. And I strongly encourage you to play with it for some time. Let's have a look at other plugins. So we also have a cookies management. So this plugin make it much easier to play with our cookies. So let's have a look at the example. I'm going to use this simple method cookie set to set a cookie. So I'm going to open console and paste this function in a console. And now let's check our cookies. And as you can see, we just added this first visit with our date right now. So as you can see, you can easily set, get and remove cookies. Now let's have a look at drag and drop. So this allows us to easily make all the components draggable, including different options like blocked axis. So this one can only move in the X and this can only move within Y. Next inter interesting plugin is e-commerce gallery. So just by copying this piece of HTML code, we can achieve results like that, which we can use in our e-commerce projects. Another interesting plugin from MDB is file upload. So let's have a look at this example. I'm going to copy this simple example. Let me get rid of calendar here. And let's replace this. So this is our placeholder. It's uh, too small right now. So I'm going to get rid of this div. And Let's also check API tab. So here we're going to find different options. So for example, we can decide upon what kind of uh, messages we want to show or what is the max size of the file, which is allowed, what is the default file uploaded. We can disable it. We can also define what are the acceptable formats of the file. But what we also want to do is we also want to check events. So um, 
let's use this example. So we're going to send event every time a file is being uploaded. We're going to add an ID to our input. I'm going to call it file upload. Okay, and now we're going to add a piece of JavaScript at the end. And let's add some console log if uh, added file. So we want to see which file was added. So what we can do, we can either click on this and choose file. So I'm going to use this one. And here we can see the list of the files. Or we can do drag and drop and we can see that the file has changed. Other interesting plugins, filters. Let's have a look at this demo in a full screen. So we can easily filter our products on a front end. So very useful tool for any e-commerce project. So you can use radio buttons, you can use checkbox. You can use, even use custom inputs to filter your results. So I strongly encourage you to play with it. Then we have mentions, which you probably know from social platforms. So we can easily add some mentions in our, for example, comment box. Another interesting plugin is multi-item icon carousel, which you can use if you have more items you want to show, but you have limited space. A very cool feature, which is onboarding. So as you can see, this will help you to guide your users through your new application and explain them step by step what they can do and how they can use different options. Storage management plugin is pretty much similar to cookies plugin, but it uses storage instead of cookies. So similar to cookie, you can just use this very simple method like storage set, storage get and storage remove to add some values into browser storage. Another interesting plugin is a table editor, which is kind of extension to something which you already know from MD5, so from the data tables, but this one has extra options here, which allows us to edit data directly within a table, so we can remove them, edit them on the fly. Next one is a transfer. So this list allows you to move some items from the left to the right including all options like multiple items disabled items or one way which makes sure the transfers can't go back to the previous list another interesting component is a tree view so something which you might know from uh, operating systems where you go into deeper levels of your folder structure but obviously you can present anything you want in that way this is very useful when it comes to select some data uh, or when you want to select some single items or bunch of items under the certain level. You can obviously use custom icons here, so you can imitate like folder structure. You can change colors and design and many, many more. Another very interesting and useful plugin is vector maps, which allows you to visualize any data you possibly want to show on a map. So as you can see, you can have different maps for different areas. You can have editable maps and read-only maps like here. 
You can also have colored map with legend to show some interesting data and the differences among the countries. Obviously, all maps are scalable and mobile friendly. You can download data from different APIs and show them on a map. Decide upon what is the default zoom level which you want to show. Or even create a custom maps using SVG. And finally, you can add pins to your map, which allows user to add your its custom pins or use predefined pins by you. And finally, WYSIWYG editor. So something which you probably know from many projects. So very useful tool which allows you to create any text using what you see is what you get approach. So basically everyone without technical skill can create very sophisticated piece of text with images, strokes, paragraphs, different sizing, bullets and so on and so on. And at the end it will change everything into HTML code. Okay, so I hope you find all these plugins very useful and you're gonna find interesting use for them in your projects. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to join our Facebook group. You're gonna find the link in the description down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and let me know in the comments which plugin you like the most and which one you're gonna use in your next projects. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,